Well, today's record close for the Dow made a lot of institutional investors happy, but what about individual stock buyers? Are investors like you still putting money into equities? Sue Herrera takes a look. Uh, there are obviously people out there that believe things are in good shape. A new high for the Dow. I think it's a sign of confidence. I'm not sure whether it's a sign that everything is backing that up. But how are you doing? Stock mutual funds and ETF inflows also hit a two-month record, more than $55 billion. But that money is not coming from the everyday investor. Main Street has not been going along for the ride. We haven't seen the retail investor play in this market despite this long grinding move higher. In the past, new market highs have often been a warning shot to investors that the party might be ready to end. So what do you do now? Well, that's the question that's been hovering over this market since it began climbing in March of 2009. Shrinking incomes are a likely suspect. By 2011, real income adjusted for inflation was down 8% since the 2007 stock market highs. Another factor? Home prices still 25% less than they were in 2007. But the good news is values have been climbing for four years. We're seeing a return in housing. We're seeing housing prices go up mortgage issue going down. Those are all very encouraging. Investment advisors I talked with are recommending their clients wait for a little bit of a pullback in prices before putting more money to work. So while the market climbs, ultimately it's still confidence and cash that will determine what the individual investor does. For Nightly Business Report, Sue Herrera, New York.